Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to go over the Wix payments and see what kind of pay payment options we have and how to connect to the Wix payment options. So once you're on your bed dashboard, what you want to do is go into the finances tab and you want to go into payments. And right now we don't have any payment methods, so what we're going to do is click manage payment methods. And you can see there's different options. So we have accept credit debit cards with Wix. So this allows you to get customers to pay with their credit or debit cards or even Apple Pay. Um, and it's managed by Wix payments basically, which is safe, secure. Um, and all you would need to do is uh, add in your bank information and um, Wix can take, take it from there. Um, you can also choose PayPal. So it allows you to accept PayPal payments. And then you also have the option of manual payments. So it allows you to accept cash, check, or whatever forms of payment. Um, it would mean then people can pay when they arrive to the event or um, send, a send a check a few days prior, um, whichever you're comfortable with. So for example, if you wanted to go into, if you wanted to use the Wix payments and let people pay with their credit or debit card, um, you want to uh, select this one here and just click, click connect. And then, so with Wix, you have these restrictions. So if you are selling any of these, then you can't use Wix payments. But if they, um, but for events, the, those are fine to use. So you just click no. I do not continue. I do not continue um, connecting to Wix payments. And just press continue. And then you can see you're on the Wix payments. And what you want to do is click on complete setup. And this will take you to the um, payment setup form. So it'll ask you to basically fill out some of the information and then you can connect to your bank basically. Um, so this information is needed to verify who you are. So the first thing it'll ask you is to select, you know, what your business type is, um, either individual, sole proprietorship or partnership. Um, and if you're unsure, you can always click this little help button and it'll tell you a bit more information about what each um, field is asking for. Um, and then it'll ask you about your personal details. It'll ask you to upload some photo ID um, and the photo ID will need to match um, the name you've given up here. Um, this is just to verify who you are and um, your business and things like that. And then uh, it's asking for your address. And if you don't have a business address, you can use your home address. And then it'll ask you a little bit about your business. And then finally your bank account details. And then um, you'll need to upload your bank statement as well. Um, and then finally, when you're done, um, just click on the terms and conditions and um, you can either save as draft if you want to come back to it or you can just click submit. Um, in terms of the pay, Wix payment fees, so Wix um, charges a payment pro processing fee based on your payment method and transactions. So with, I think, transparent pricing, you get one fixed fee for all credit cards um, and then Wix don't, a char don't charge additional fees for processing refunds or chargebacks or anything like that. But once you're done, you would just click submit and then uh, Wix will review your information and then uh, we'll let you know once your um, payment, your Wix payments uh, form has been accepted and then you can start um, accepting payments through credit and debit card uh, once Wix have uh, approved it. The other option is to connect to your PayPal. So this one's a, a little bit more simpler uh, process. So what you would do is connect PayPal and enter your PayPal uh, email address. And then you'll be redirected to PayPal. Um, it'll ask you to log in with your username and password, and then your Wix account will be connected. So, for example, if I type in my email like that and just click connect, it's taking me to the um, PayPal login portal. You just click connect, and then I'll just log in with my uh, login details. If you haven't already, you need to make sure that the PayPal you're connecting to is a business account, and then you will need to, if it's a personal account, you would need to convert your personal account to a business account or just create a new business account. But whatever account you use, it would need to be a business uh, a business account. The other option then is to accept manual payments. So if we connect to that, um, you can select the following payment type. So either manual payment and you can specify if you want cash payment, cash on delivery, offline payment, things like that. Um, and whatever instructions you would need to give to the customers, you can type it all in here and it, they'll, they'll be able to see the instructions at the checkout. So if you decide um, you want to do cash payment, you can say, please pay in cash when you collect, uh, when you come to the event, something like that. Um, or if it's offline payment, you can just uh, link in your uh, bank account details or something like that. 
Um, but the one I would probably recommend would just be the uh, Wix payments with their credit and debit cards. It makes it easier for your, your customers. It also makes it easier for you to manage all the payments and you'll be able to see all the payments from your dashboard as well. Um, and then the other option then is obviously PayPal.